Hello, so this is Feminine Hygiene Hacks. Every grown-ass woman needs to know. So this is an image I found through Google. It says, Feminine Hygiene Issues Around the World. 50% of girls in India know nothing about their parent periods until they start their own. Only 16% of women and girls in India use sanitary napkins due to cost. 28% of women and girls in Indonesia miss peer work due to their period. 60% of women and girls in Nepal avoid social gatherings during menstruation. 13% of girls from low and middle class income countries miss school due to menstruation. So I just thought that was interesting, so I decided to include it. So here are some of the hacks. After a shower, dust powder down there to absorb oils. Keeps from sweating too much. Sweating will bring odors and you don't want that. Avoid wearing tight clothing or underwear daily. Body con panties or pants every day is a major no-no when you get home from flaunting put on some loose pants and get comfy organize your underwear um staying organized will keep you from wearing the same undies two times in a row drink plenty of water this naturally flushes out toxins in your body. Plus, we're supposed to drink water anyway, so make it a habit if you're not doing that already. Wear period panties to avoid messing up your good underwear. Place panty liners in your undies if you have a heavy discharge to help keep your pearl dry. Change liner often as needed. Eat healthy foods in your diet. Include foods like fresh fruits, honey, cranberry juice, apple cider vinegar, tea, and other healthy foods from the list above. Avoid too much garlic, onions, and spicy foods because it changes how you taste. Wear cotton panties. This is always um, the best route to avoid excess moisture. You want to keep it dry and maintain good feminine hygiene. Use body wipes for temporary freshness when you're out and about. It's almost like a shower on the go. You can also soak in two cups of apple cider vinegar in a bathtub full of water for about 45 minutes. This will bring your pH levels back to normal. Did you know certain fruits can make you smell good? Eat pineapples and cranberries. You also can sleep commando. Boom, not only is this freeing, but it prevents bacteria from creeping in while you're sleeping. You don't have to do this every night, but try it a few times a week. Also keep a period emergency kit with you always. Fill a small pouch with all of your hygiene essentials and keep it with you in your purse, office, desk, backpack, or car. Don't wear thongs all the time or just don't wear them. Um, they are breeding ground for bacteria. Sorry, ladies. After sex, clean up. Get up and go urine, a urine after, like right after. Don't be lazy. We all want to cuddle up right afterwards, but nobody wants bad feminine hygiene issues. Get rid of the bacteria by urinating or taking a shower. And then finally, the last thing I have is do not douche for heaven's sake. Douching will get rid of all your bacteria, the good and the bad. Creating an open space for bacterial yeast to step in and make matters worse. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.